So this is lecture 2 of C++ programming and here we are going to learn now about outputting something to the console. Okay, so how to print something to the console. Okay, so first thing again going through the code. So include IO stream. So this is the line that you have to include if you want to put something out to the console. And here there is a new word using namespace standard. Okay, so using namespace. Okay, so namespace in C++ is very helpful feature. Okay, so it tells that if you have, it's a group, it helps you to maintain variable names. Okay, so what might happen is that you have many libraries in which you have some name conflicts okay so namespace helps you to define the names uniquely okay so that is till now we will just look at it that okay namespace tells that okay from which namespace we are using some feature okay so namespace standard means whatever i will be using here the c out it will be from the namespace standard okay so initially we were writing as something like standard C out and it was becoming very difficult to write it every time. Okay. So instead of that, we write here using namespace standard. So whenever we write C out, it means that we are using the standard namespace. Okay. So you don't need to write again. So now what happens? We see out a simple string literal we print. Okay. So this is simple string that we are printing end l okay so end l is basically if you want to end a line in the output console you put end l then what happens c out writing number five so you write a number five here performing division by zero so okay so in the output itself you can perform mathematical calculations too like 10 by 5 here so this is not a string literal because it's not in the quotes so 10 by 5 will be printed. The result will be printed there. Pi when approximated is 22 by 7. If you write like this, so this value will be printed. So 22 by 7, so 3 will be printed. And it will be not a floating point because 22 by 7 is integer division. So pi is more accurately 22 by 7. If you add 22.0, then it will be a floating point number so if you do these so printing these you will see that what output we get okay so let's see the output so if we see so first thing is you need to compile it compiles correctly then we need to run it so now you see so c out this is a simple string literal writing number five so you print five here performing division 10 by 5 so it becomes 2 so 10 by 5 is not printed but its result 2 is printed pi when approximated is 3 so it's printed 22 by 7 becomes 3 for integer division and pi more accurately if you write 22.0 it becomes 3.14 okay so this is there now let's see some common pitfalls if i write if i don't have so just to reinforce what we have studied so if you compile now, so you will get some errors. Okay, so if you come here int function in, in main, so we have error here at line seven. Okay, line seven and see out undeclared first use in this function. And then you see each undeclared identifier is reported only once. So this type of error see out is undeclared. So it is undeclared why because we are not defining c out it's not able to find because it's in the namespace standard which we have not given so how to correct it so one way is we can add this here we can add standard every time or we can say that here you can write the file using namespace standard okay so this will also help you out so here we can remove this okay so now this will work so one error is this one 
very common error now the error is gone next error that might happen is you can miss some semicolon so if you execute so expected a semicolon after before c out in this line so there is an error so you can correct it here so now it will compile fine what might happen is that somehow you miss so whenever you are outputting so see out after that so you if you don't give this one then you will have some error so let's see see out expected before string constant okay so here you see string constant so they are thinking see out now also is a string constant so you have to put this one to correct that error okay so we saw some of the scenarios of what errors can come out now we have learned here till about the printing something at the output but what if we want something from the user okay so for that we use what we use c in this is the next statement that we use c in input an integer so this code what we do is that we input one integer then enter your name we are doing that okay please enter your name also we see in the name and when we are outputting we have so let's see a few things here to understand the code so we have here input output okay so enter an integer c out we do and then we say that okay we are taking one so c out when you are outputting this is the direction when we are taking input c in we have this direction okay this is the operator so enter your name so we have string so new thing that comes here is string so string is a class okay and so string input name is an object of string class so now what happens to manage strings you have string class so you include string here okay and then see out input name okay we entered input number what he entered get carries for waiting to see the output okay so this is there and now we would like to execute compile this code oh so this is having some problem see in input number what is their input number undeclared okay so okay so this is there a compilation error so what we should do you can either change this scene to input number here we can write input number so now this error will go so compilation still there input number okay so still there is not an uppercase so see here so it is now compiling and let's see the output so enter an integer so now it will be waiting for you to enter an integer 7 enter your name Saurabh okay so get care it did not wait let's execute it again I had one get care here enter an integer 8 Saurabh is name and it's going away so see out it entered and get care so it's not waiting okay so we have to see so we can write one more c in again for input number this is just a kind of hack for asking the computer to wait okay for seeing the output integer 2 ss enter 2 okay so this is the output and this helped you to show bit little bit of debugging also okay in the output runtime so i saw that okay it was not waiting for me so i made one input statement now it is waiting okay so this is about input output and something about input output format that we studied here so i hope you understand this this ends lecture 2 thanks a lot